what is that? What is that? Yeah, exactly. Today we are traveling to the Caribbean to try a bunch of delicious foods. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my God, my dad's Caribbean. Yeah, Any definitely. clue how many countries are in the Caribbean? Aruba, Bahama. Pretty mama. <laughs> I was about to be like, I don't know geometry. There are a few major countries that I feel like you, you Asia. Guys should know. Is that a continent? <laughs> we are not quite headed to all 26 countries, as okay. that is quite a lot for this episode. Okay. So we've just got a few sampling for you to try today. Great. Our national dish is pork grillo. I don't even know what it is. I'm in. Pork grillo. Pork is so fatty and flavorful. Oh, dude. I've heard of it. That juicy. And then it's deep fried, right? Once tender. Oh. My mouth is watering right now. This <laughs> looks so good. Oh, fried plantains. Hell yes. <laughs> Ooh. Have you ever had fried plantains? Do I have to wear that dumb headband? Wow. I love it when you oh, just yeah. get to enjoy some food. One of Haiti's national dishes, pork griot, is a delicious marinated braised and then fried dish that's absolutely amazing. Haitian cuisine boasts a lot of bold and spicy flavors that demonstrate both its African and French influences. Oh, this is good. I just got this overwhelming feeling of excitement because I, I can actually eat this. It hits that oil and it just gives it this nice crunch on the outside. It's lemony and it's tangy. Well, mm -hmm. the meat falls right apart when I put it mm -hmm. in my mouth. As soon as you poke it with the fork, it like falls yeah, apart. Yeah, it just falls apart, exactly. Very well seasoned, yet not over overwhelming. In their whole form, they kind of look like bananas, but they taste like potatoes. The meat, I can't tell you how flavorful the meat is. That's really good. I love the fusion of African and French. You're not getting this back. You know this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm eating it all. The plate is getting licked clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those who have never had a party before or who are wondering what it's like, it's pretty much like a flaky pastry. Oh, pastries. Like you sold me already. Flaky, I love flaky pastries. Back when I was young, my dad He has a way <laughs> sexier accent than you do. So <laughs> if I could just listen to him. Butter, beef, pastry. Let's go. Buttery, meat. Buttery, flaky. <laughs> like a little packet. Is it going to be like a pocket of meat? It's a patty. It's like a, a, a meat pie. It looks like an Ooh, empanada. Ooh, it does. So the Jamaican beef patty is a light and flaky pastry filled with meats, veggies, and spices, and is absolutely delicious. The crust is often flavored with turmeric, which gives it that lovely golden yes, color. Yes, turmeric. While it's commonly found in Jamaica, it's also popular in Nicaragua, Panama, and Costa Rica. It tastes really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was so good. Can't go wrong with butter. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with mm -hmm. butter at all. It's like Jamaica's version of a hot pocket. Mm. It's not like plain. Sorry. I'm like, I drop everything. <laughs> Harry is such a clean eater. Look at my, I'm literally no, I've been, spilled. I've been wiping as I go. The beef yeah. patty is a product of the long history of Jamaica, mixing pastries that were introduced by Cornish immigrants and cumin, curry, and cayenne pepper that are introduced by Indian indentured laborers and African slaves who arrived to the country. With all that influence, it's still its own thing. It just shows that like when you mix cultures together, it's the result of it is like just spectacular. There's always more that you think you know about something, especially when it comes to food. That's why I love it. Puerto Rico's most famous dish and my favorite food. Eight different types of mofongo. Ooh, mofongo. Ooh, what's mofongo? Mofongo? I've heard of this like watching like the Food Network. Oh, wow. Ooh, that looks Wait, they amazing. fry it and then they mash it. <gasps> oh man. It's so fun to say, mafungo. That is crazy, look at that. Look at the meat, it's so red. It's like a little soup bowl of meat and flavor. Wow. <laughs> Puerto Rico is indeed a lovely island and the home to mafungo, a fried plantain dish that is so good. The dish's origins come okay. from the combination of African fufu mixed with Spanish influence. African and Spanish. That, that sauce, man. It looks like a little volcano of flavor explosions. Oh my God, that broth. These are good plantains. They chose really good plantains. There are so many like fusion restaurants that come around here where it's like, there are literally cultures who just did that right. on purpose. <laughs> Tell me that is not banging. Mm, yeah. I've never even like seen any of these dishes. These flavors are like completely new to me, which is mm. really cool. I'm thinking about it. When am I going to have this again? Like, right. I won't be able to find... I want to try and find a really good uh, Caribbean restaurant. Yeah, exactly. I... Aki and, and codfish. Aki and saltfish. Aki and saltfish. Yeah. Saltfish? He said fish. I, I love, love fish. Love seafood. Fish, fish, fish. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa! Ooh, what is that? 
What is that? Yeah, exactly. I've never seen that before. You know, so that man has only been doing this his entire life. Something about I want to try that. You cannot open it on yourself. No, it requires another. Or it's poison. Oh, oh it's so you have poison. To, it has to oh, really? Huh? And that's when it's non-lethal. That's wild. Oh, please, please. I want that. Give me some Aki. These foods I've never seen before. Ooh. This looks very delectable. We're headed back to Jamaica for their national dish of Aki and saltfish. The Aki fruit has a unique taste and texture, and because parts of the fruit are toxic, it takes a trained expert to prepare it. That's kind of terrifying. Oh my god. This is my favorite one. And Super soft. It just melts in your mouth. Oh, the spice in there too? No. You know I don't like fish, but... But... I gotta try it. How are we feeling? What? That is not bad. Wow! Yeah. It does give, like, as you chew through it, it's kind of mushy, so it gives it kind of that creamy texture. Someone's yeah. turned over a new leaf. This is why I always try stuff. I like it. A new leaf or a new scale? Touche. No. Ah. No. Don't touche her. Wow, that's really good. This is different. It's nothing this like is I've Jamaican, ever tried. Right? Like the Jamaican? texture even. You're hey, Sharon. Hmm. I well, LARP you. Oh, oh, God. See what you did. And this is packed with flavor and spice and all the different things. I want to know who the first person was to try Aki and die. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the second person to be like, well, I might be able to figure it out. Right? This is probably, like you said, probably my favorite one so far. Yeah. But the texture of Belizean tamales is unlike any other tamales I've ever tried. Belizean so, tamales. But I wonder well. how it's going to be I different. Say, wow. Ooh. I have a feeling it's very different. <laughs> Believe it or not, this I've never had a tamales wet before. Wet filled with the sauce. It's delicious. Oh, wet filled. It's not wet top? <laughs> oh, it looks like a crepe. One of the signature dishes of Belize is dukanu. <laughs> <laughs> One of the signature dishes of Belize is du canoe, a culinary canoe is a culinary treat similar to Mexican tamales. Stop. I didn't say anything. I know, but we all looked at you go. <laughs> <laughs> a culinary treat similar to Mexican tamales, but with its own robust flavor. Mm. Versions of this dish appear all over the Caribbean, each with its own variations. Many of them are sweet. Whoa. Again, I, I taste cinnamon. It tastes like sweet cornbread like, to me. Right. Ooh, and it's a little spicy. Like, it's just a nice warming sensation that really counteracts the sweetness of the... Dookie. Thank you, the dookie itself. The sweetness from the corn really, like, brings this all together for me. But that the sweetness, different. I'm trying to figure out if it's the corn Everything or it's something different. else. That sweet corn. Mm-hmm. Whatever the spice Keeping is that, that kicked in at the end, that just... I know. Perfect. It's like a silent spice. It creeps up on you. It makes me feel good, but good in a way where it's like refreshing. I would never think to put sweet corn and coconut together. Like what? They should be, the, they need to be the next big thing. This is like amazing. Dookie new. Okay, great. <laughs> you Do say duka, I say dookie. <laughs> you say dookie, I say poopy. <laughs> Dookie, poopy, duka, dookie, let's call the whole thing up. <laughs> Everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Full-time eater, can I be him? Oh, look at that. Jamaican jerk. Yes. Mm. Just anything barbecued, those are scotch bonnets. That reminds me of like a Trinidad food. Is he making jerk chicken? That looked like he was putting nothing but flavor in that. Ooh. Oh my God. Woo. The art of jerking originated from the indigenous Arawak and Taino tribes who intermingled with the Maroons, descendants of Africans who freed themselves from slavery in Jamaica. Wow. Jerk cooking is extremely popular in the Caribbean and West Indies and is probably one of the most notable styles of cooking to make its mark all over the world. If you know anything about Caribbean food, you know jerk chicken. I know jerk chicken even. Mm. Oh man, jerk chicken. I haven't had this in so long. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm assuming this is like some sort of roll. It is called festival bread. Ooh. Okay, I know I was raving about the chicken, but this bread is so good. Mmm, mmm, oh, it's almost like cake. And mm. then you can't go wrong with the plantains. Plantains are delicious again. So how do you guys feel about your trip around the Caribbean? I feel fulfilled. I want to look for some Caribbean restaurants. Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy all these tasty Caribbean foods? I know we missed a lot of really good food, so let us know what else we can try. Leave us a message in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe to People vs. Food. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Peace.
Oh, too bad we didn't have Jamaican rum to try. Hey-oh. Oh. 